So we're looking at a hole in the cloud. I got a short little clip earlier. Don't know what happened there. I think maybe the buffer hadn't fully uh, cleared or something when I started filming um, and it got hung up or something. It's happened a few times where I've started recording a video and it's just suddenly stopped after recording for you know, so many seconds or even a, a minute or two. It just suddenly, for whatever reason, just inexplicably stops recording. So I just like the pattern here. It's just, uh, you know, you can sort of interpret it any way you want, really. I mean, I'm not interpreting it in any way. That's just an interesting, you know, somewhat uh, abstract pattern. And it reminds me of some of the work of uh, Ernst Haas in his book, uh, The Creation which was an influence on me back when I was first getting started in photography. Uh, you know, even before I bought a Nikon EM in 1980, uh, and even before I used a, a Sahi Flex to take photos in 79, if not 78, uh, I believe that I'd already been uh, you know, seen Ernst Haas's uh, creation book. Uh, I believe it was given to our family by my uncle Piers, if I remember correctly. And uh, what is going on there at the bottom? I guess it's a cloud yet. In any case, that's moving off to the right there, so I think I'm going to shift the camera a little. Yes, that is a that black thing in the lower left corner. Basically, it's the top of a, a cloud. Um, now, I will say that the exposure makes it appear darker than it actually is. Um, I'm going to actually... Well, I'm not going to adjust the exposure in this clip, but I might do another clip slightly lighter. I mean, I do like the drama of this, uh, but it's making the cloud appear quite a bit darker than it actually is. And even the uh, bright part of the cloud is significantly darker than the real thing. So I think we're going to wrap this clip up and adjust the shutter speed <coughs> or maybe the f-stop.